Ray and Micah, good evening. People have already started lining up in London uh, ahead of the Queen lying in state here starting on Wednesday until her funeral on Monday. Right now, though, her children are holding a vigil over her coffin at St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh, Scotland. Members of the public are also filing in to pay their respects as she's there for the next 24 hours. King Charles III addressed lawmakers from both houses of parliament in London before flying to Edinburgh to take part in the Queen's funeral processional to St. Giles Cathedral. Hundreds of lawmakers crowded into the thousand-year-old Westminster Hall, rich in pageantry and the oldest part of the parliamentary complex. Paying tribute to his mother, the King said that while very young, she pledged herself to serve the country and her people. She set an example of selfless duty, which, with God's help, and your counsels, I am resolved faithfully to follow. Following what's known as the condolence meeting, the King flew to Edinburgh to accompany his late mother's coffin through the historic heart of the Scottish capital to a cathedral where it will remain for 24 hours. Charles and his wife Camilla, the Queen Consort, arrived at the royal family's official residence in Edinburgh, the Palace of Holyrood House, where Queen Elizabeth II's coffin lay overnight in the throne room. On their way, they passed large crowds of people who were packed behind metal barriers along the Royal Mile, the road between Holyrood House and St. Giles Cathedral. Onlookers clapped and waved as the King's limousine passed. The public will be allowed to visit the cathedral to pay their last respects. The new King and the Queen Consort also took a moment to greet well-wishers outside the palace. Holyrood House, Charles took part in the ceremony of keys, where the king was given the ceremonial key to the city of Edinburgh. The king, Princess Anne, along with Prince Edward and Andrew, led a procession to honor the late monarch as the queen's coffin was transported from Holyrood House to St. Giles Cathedral. And ahead of Monday's funeral, heads of state have been asked to fly commercially if possible, although it's highly unlikely that President Biden and the First Lady will travel on anything but Air Force One. But they also will not be able to use helicopters or any special vehicles while in London because it is going to be packed. Ray, Micah, back to you.